Now let's take a look at inside the opening mounts. And we'll first look at the butt corner. Now with the butt corner, the width extrusions are always the full length of the opening. It's the height that are the shorter lengths. And now look at the inside of the opening with the miter corner. And now we'll look at around the opening mounts. Now with the butt corner here, we have to put a notch in the width extrusions. So we create the overlap. And again, the width is always on the bottom or on the top. It's the height extrusion that's the shorter piece. And we'll look at around the opening with a miter corner. Now, let's get over to our simulated porch opening and we'll start cutting and mounting extrusions. And the first step is always measure and we're going to do our widths first. And we're going to cut our extrusions on a chop saw that's equipped with an aluminum cutting blade. Now these are readily available in any home center uh, and you're going to use the aluminum blade whether you're cutting the PVC or the aluminum snap. Test fit your extrusions and there's some uh, reductions and gaps that we'll talk about at the end of the video. And you do want to pre-drill all your holes. You don't want to use self-drilling screws if at all possible. Generally when you use those you're going to end up with burrs or uh, filings that are going to get stuck under the screw heads and they're going to look unsightly. Now your distances for screws, uh, PVC and aluminum snap, your first screw was within one inch of the end of each extrusion. On PVC snap, the remainder of your screws are spaced no more than 12 inches apart. And on the aluminum snap, they're spaced no more than 24 inches apart. And as you can see here, just mark the extrusion and then take your drill and pre-drill all the holes. Once your holes are done, and in this case we're using PVC and we're using a butt mount. So we're going to be mounting our widths first. And again, you're mounting the widths first on every opening and every mount. And we're just going to jump around through here, uh, putting some screws in on the top. Then we're going to be going down to the base. And once our base is in, then we're going to measure the clear distance between the two extrusions. And that will be the size of our height uh, extrusions. We'll test fit those like we did before and then we'll get those mounted in place. Now just a couple of quick notes while we're getting the height extrusions mounted here. As far as gaps in between the extrusions, we're going to recommend at least a sixteenth of an inch gap in between all extrusions. That's just for normal expansion and contraction of the building. Uh, this is critical with the PVC because PVC does have a high expansion and contraction ratio, so you definitely do not want to have the uh, PVC snap butted together with no gap in between the extrusions. As far as mounting hardware goes, uh, you're free to use any type of hardware uh, that's best for your application. But with the PVC snap, you absolutely have to use a full head screw. You cannot countersink because the uh, snap will pull right through it. Now you look here, you see the extrusions fully mounted and this opening is ready to be screened. And we're ready to move on to our last two topics. Uh, when mounting around the opening with the miter corner, the easiest way to figure your size is to measure the clear opening and add one inch to that dimension. That should give you enough of an overlap on each side for the miter to come together nice and clean. And when using a butt corner around the opening, measure your clear opening, add seven eighths of an inch to the width extrusions only, and that will allow you the room to create the seven sixteenths notch that's required for the overlap as shown here. You can use a hacksaw or a power saw to create the notch that's required. Snap is a great product that moves fast and sells itself. If you would like to sell Snap in your store or through your business, or if you're interested in distributing Snap in Canada, contact our office. Thank you again for watching.